enthusiasts and industry players CNA spoke with say the new measures are unlikely to deter the public from using or buying PMDs. Retailers are also confident they can bring in a sufficient supply of e-scooters that meet the safety standards. Nisha, Nisha Rahim with more. Singapore's biggest e-scooter enthusiast community says it had been bracing itself for the worst. It was concerned that a recent spate of fires linked to PMDs would spark an outright ban on the devices. Its chairman says he's in fact relieved by the new measures, which include moving forward a deadline to comply with the safety requirement. It's a really good way forward as well. Um, it's good for people to have um, more faith in PMDs, the, the new PMDs that are coming with the safety uh, uh, standards and all that. With the UL and clear directions, I believe the take-up rate will be in fact uh, slowly increased as uh, you know, retailers also start to bring in more uh, legitimate stocks as well. Another change is having compulsory inspections for e-scooters. Mr. Koh says these should be conducted every six months or every year. He believes such periodic checks should be sufficient to prevent problems such as illegal modifications. For retailers, it's still business as usual. And those we spoke to say they will adjust supply of e-scooters to meet demand. It's just the users and users that have to you know, adapt to the change. Right? Uh, it effectively shortens the deadline. Right, but it ensures that safety is never compromised. So I would say that PMDs are here to stay, right? but of course using the devices responsibly and, of, uh, and also avoiding any illegal modifications is key. He added that PMDs have created job opportunities such as for delivery riders. To ensure their riders comply with the rules, food delivery company Food Panda says new riders have to provide the registration number for their e-scooters when they sign up and any rider found without a registered device will not be allowed to continue as part of his fleet. Grab says it welcomes the move to bring forward the deadline to meet the UL2272 safety standard, but wants to ensure it causes minimal disruption to its riders. It hopes to work with LTA to study the potential impact of other measures like the pedestrian-only zones.